Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and today's video is going to be a bunch of clips that I took on different days and put together. So recently I've been wanting to thrift more consciously so that I don't over consume and spend so much money. Um, so I have a lot of clips that I've taken from thrift trips where I liked things but I didn't actually end up buying anything. Anyway, I started out at a new Savers that I hadn't been to before and straight off the bat I noticed how expensive everything was at the Savers. Like this denim skirt was $50 and I think it was from Zara. Like are you actually kidding me? I barely found anything that I would genuinely buy in the skirt section and I definitely couldn't afford most of these items anyway. Uh, going on this trip actually inspired me to write an essay on thrift store inflation, which will be coming soon, hopefully. bag section was okay. I found this velvet bag covered in grommets, but it looked kind of cheap to me. But then I found this red shoulder bag and it was absolutely amazing. I could not pass it up. Like look at the silver chain and the details and I absolutely loved the size of it too. This t-shirt was just so trashy. I loved it. Um, it said, look at me, Miss Ohio. She wants to do right, but not right now. This Dance Mom shirt was also iconic, honestly. Uh, as a fan of Dance Moms, the show, I did contemplate getting it just for the irony. <laughs> I loved this pink formal dress. It had elements of Y2K style with the asymmetrical hem and the sequins, but it felt a bit cheap despite it being priced $25. I also tried on this velvet wrap dress and it low-key suited the outfit that I was wearing like on that day, but on its own I wasn't a huge fan and it was also priced at $20. Moving on to the next store slash day, so the first thing that I came across was this book that I have seen all over Instagram. I did debate getting it, but I looked up reviews and apparently actually wasn't very good, so I left that behind. The next thing that I found was perfect for my spare room redo. These lampshades were exactly what I have been looking for and the one that I got was in such great condition. I didn't really get into the cowboy boot trend, but I know that the coastal cowboy look is now coming back in, but yeah, just not my style. Now these boots are definitely more at my alley. They were more like a 90s Gilmore Girl kind of vibe meets like Victorian style, um, but unfortunately they were a size six. This mesh skirt looked like fast fashion at first, but then it had a vintage tag. So I did contemplate getting it, but again, trying to be more conscious, trying not to overconsume, just because I think that something looks cute for like two seconds doesn't mean that I need to put it in my cart and I need to get it. I think if this skirt wasn't neutral, I would have liked it a lot more, but it had such a unique cut that I put it in the cart anyway. But when I tried it on, it just did not work at all. I found this knitted jumper from the brand Face Off. Uh, usually every item that I found from this brand is really cool and I've ended up getting it, but this was literally so ugly. Like what is going on with this collar here? If this gray sweater was just striped, it would probably become one of my go-to pieces, but they just had to put this weird V pattern on it, of course. I do already have a cardigan that's like this in full black, and that is the only reason that I didn't get this because I absolutely loved her. Sleepwear section slaying yet again. Look at this super feminine slip dress. Definitely not my style, but I wanted to show her off to you guys anyway. I tried on the flower printed dress and I did really like it. It gave me Daphne Moon from Frasier kind of vibes. I love that, but it was like $17 and really wasn't great quality. The only thing that I ended up getting from this trip was the lampshade, which I'm super, super happy with. So this was the last day of thrifting for me. 
and this was probably my best day. So straight away, I found this bag. I already talked about it in length in my last thrift haul video. So you guys will already know how much of a score this was for me. I really wish that this bag was silver or black or something instead of this washed out gold because it was literally so hot, but I just couldn't stand the color. These are some random bags that I thought were cool, but maybe not that cool. <laughs> I found these really distressed shoes from the brand Blowfish, which by the branding, it looked like it should have been a Y2K brand, but it was actually a brand new one. It was so sad that these were damaged because they would have actually been perfect like emo goth summer shoes. Like look at the detailing on them. I love them. These were very 70s, very cute, but then I saw that they were from ASOS, so never mind. I did end up finding a few skirts that I liked, but not enough to actually try them on or anything. So Bo ended up finding this top from Save the Queen for four dollars. Oh my God, how sick is it? I love this top and Save the Queen is such a sought after Y2K brand. They are so expensive if you look them up on Depop. So this was an absolute steal. These cargo pants on the other hand were just so expensive and I had absolutely no idea why. They weren't a brand. They looked like they were in good condition and they were kind of cool, but nothing any different to like uh, any other pair of cargo pants that I've seen. Definitely would have bought this men's jumper if the fabric didn't feel like actual plastic, like it was squeaking when I was touching it. It was awful. And then this was an absolutely 100% real Christian Dior t-shirt, as you can see by the really, really great quality. Vitamins t-shirts and long sleeves always have like the best Y2K print and the best fit and then they chuck a v-neck on it like why did you ruin something that was so perfect? I have no idea how but these trashy tourist shirts have like made a comeback recently. I love seeing people style them in like a really fun ironic sort of way. I found these shorts for Bo and uh, unfortunately they were way too big for him, which was very sad because we both loved them so much. It could have been a joint custody piece, but no, way too big. I never wear vests, but I really, really like this one. The leather and the fur and the color made me like nearly buy it, but then I realized the fur was kind of falling off and it was really cheaply made. So that was really disappointing. Okay, so I immediately bought this skirt. Uh, finding this literally altered my brain chemistry. Like finding this skirt somehow helped me change my style and I am so happy that I found it. Like one of my best finds ever. I also picked up this Hard Rock Cafe shirt for Bo, um, but I've been wearing it a lot. So this was a joint custody item. I also found these two books. I got the first one because it looked interesting to read. And then the second one so that I could cut out some of the art and frame it for my wall. I found a lot of perfect items for my new spare room that I'm dying to show you guys, but I won't add those in now. So these were just a few of the rejects for knickknacks that I thought about getting for the room. 
I did one last round in the store and found this top that I wasn't 100% sure on, but it did fit my aesthetic. Same for this guest top, I really loved it, but it was super overpriced at $20. I really, really do love thrifting, but it is becoming way more um, expensive and way less accessible to people who actually need these clothes, um, especially when there are items that are literally disintegrating like this that are being priced um, at like $20 and over. It's just like a bit ridiculous, but I won't get into all of that right now because I am writing my video essay and that will come out soon. So. So I did end up getting a few items from all of these uh, thrift trips and you guys will definitely be seeing those in my next thrift haul of the month. Anyway, that is all for this video. Sorry it was a bit all over the place, but thank you all so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye.